Hi, amazing viewers. Welcome to Christianity over Islam with Shan Shumon. And on today's episode of debate, female Muslim challenged Christians on the Trinity. God complete, God completely destroyed. Let's watch this amazing video. You just buried yourself because in Matthew 28, 19, pay attention because I'm about to hang up on you because I know what you're going to say. Jesus says, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. There's your Trinity in your face. Now deny it so I can hang up on you. What is it, Matthew? What? 28, 19, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now I want you to deny this is Trinitarian so I can hang up on your face. Say it's not the Trinity. Please say it. I I'm looking it up and I'm, I'm looking up the Amharic Testament. And you know, Matthew's written in Greek, right? I could care less. You can even, it's there in Amharic. What a desperate fool you are. Do you now yeah. agree that Jesus because said... I want the original... It's in Greek. Matthew. It's not in Amharic. Do you now so admit, English? do you admit Jesus just confirmed the Trinity? Yes or no? Jesus, I didn't get to read it yet. Can I read it? I just quoted it to you. I'm going to quote it five more times. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let me repeat it again making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Let me repeat it again. Go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Do I need to repeat it again? Okay, so him saying that means that he's saying that we don't worship the Son and the Holy Spirit. Do you want me to hang up on saying. you right now? Let's try this again. You said... You cannot say in the name of Allah and Muhammad and Gabriel because we don't worship Muhammad and Gabriel. That means if you say in the name of Allah and Muhammad and Gabriel, that's making Muhammad and Gabriel God with Allah. Jesus said in the name, singular, of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, there you go, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one name. So do you now agree that Jesus just identified Father, Son, Holy Spirit with one name? That's the Trinity. Yes or no? Quickly. Yes. Thank you. Now I know you're honest. Say it again. Yes. Okay. So stop attacking the Trinity. Now I'm going to show you something. Go to your Quran, Surah Al Hajj, chapter 22 of the Quran. When you get there, I want you to look verses 6 and 7. 6 and 7. Okay, I got it. Okay, read it for me slowly. That is because Allah is the truth and because He gives life to the dead and because He is over all things competent. And that they may know that the hour is coming, no doubt about it, and that Allah will resurrect those in the graves. Okay, pay attention to what your Quran said. Allah is the truth, Al Ha. He gives life to the dead. The hour is coming, have no doubt about it, where he will raise them from the graves, right? Yeah. Okay, so on Yom al qiyamah I want you to listen carefully. On the day of judgment, Allah will raise the dead from the graves. He is the truth who gives life to the dead. Allah raises the dead at the hour from their graves. Not a creature, not Jibreel, not Muhammad. Allah at the hour raises the dead from their graves. He's the truth and he gives life. So remember that, because now I'm going to read to you something in the Gospel of John. I'll read it for you, you can write it down. John 5, 21. For as the Father raises the dead, this is Jesus speaking, as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, even so the Son gives life to whom He will. Quran says Allah gives life to whom He will. Jesus says, I the Son and the Father, we give life to whom we will. That's number one. John 5, 25. Most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming. Don't forget what you read in Surah Al-Hajj. In chapter 22, verse 7, it says, The hour is coming, have no doubt about it. Allah will raise them from their graves. Notice what Jesus said, John 5, 25. More, most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. Jesus says, that hour, they're going to hear the voice of the Son of God, my voice, and they'll come to life. Oh, my goodness. John 5, 28 to 29. Write it down. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming, hour is coming, which all who are in their graves will hear his voice. And 25, it says, the voice of the Son of God, and come forth. Now, final one, John 14, verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay, you just read in your Quran, Allah is the truth. He gives life. The hour comes, Allah will raise them from the graves. Jesus here said, I'm the Son of God, who like the Father, gives life to whom I want. I am the truth and the life, and the hour is coming, for those in the grave will hear my voice, the voice of the Son of God, and live. Why is Jesus speaking as if he's your God, Allah? 
conveniently. Everything that you have just said is from John. And so if I show you from Muhammad that John is the gospel, are you going to say I'm stupid and I'm sorry for arguing with my prophet? Uh, no. Okay, now, the, wait, the Quran says there's a prophecy of Jesus in the gospel. Where is that prophecy? The Quran says there's a prophecy of Jesus in the no, Bible. No, Muhammad, I'm sorry. There's a prophecy of Muhammad in the gospel. Where is that prophecy? Oh, the prophecy of Muhammad in the gospel. Which one? Uh, which one was it? I know Isaiah. Isaiah. Yeah. That's not the gospel. Let me try it again. Which gospel prophesied Muhammad? Oh, I don't know that. I don't know the Old Testament one. No, no, because your Quran says chapter 7, verse 157, there's a prophecy in the Torah and the gospel. Do you know what? which prophecy your Muslims quote, your Ikhwan quote? Which one? John 14. The Testament. John 14. John 15, John 16, where Jesus says, I will pray the Father will give you another paraclete. And if you have the Halali Khan, Halali Khan version of the Quran, guess what they put in parentheses if you go to 7157? Quran? No. Okay, can I send you the link? Because now you're going to embarrass Muhammad because your prophets tell me that the prophecy of Muhammad is in the Gospel of John. The very Gospel you keep attacking. Oh, but that's John! Oh, but John is good enough to prove Muhammad was predicted. But when John proved Jesus is God, oh, but that's John! John wrote that! You see how stupid you sound when you argue this way? Here, let me show you. That's, are you saying that's what Muslim scholars say? All your scholars say that. Even Ibn Ishaq and Sirat Rasulullah. Do, do I need to quote him? Here you go. Yeah, but, that's, but Muslim scholars can say that. That doesn't mean it's a fact. So then where is the prophecy? Again, where is the prophecy of Muhammad in the gospel? So you're embarrassing yourself. Because in chapter 7, verse 157, it says, there's a prophecy of Muhammad in the gospel that's with them. What gospel, what prophecy? Or is the Quran a lie? What, what did they give as a prophecy of Muhammad in the Injil? It's in Halali Khan. It says, let me read it. Those who follow the messenger, the prophet, who can neither read nor write, whom they find written with them in the Torah, Deuteronomy 1815 and the Injil Gospel, John 1416. Oh, but wait, didn't you listen to your uh, your sister, your ukhti here? That's John. Why are you going to John? You see, when you Muslims talk like this, you make you disgust us. And this is why we hate Muhammad with such a passion. Because only a wicked demon could create such people. Only a false prophet like Muhammad could create such people like you, inconsistent, dishonest, and wicked. So John is good enough okay, so. to show that Muhammad is prophesied. But when the same John shows that Jesus claimed to be God, oh, but that's John. That's John. Who cares about John? You sure? You want me now go to Matthew, Mark, and Luke and show you that Jesus does what the Quran says Allah does? Yes. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to chapter 89, verses 21 to 22 of the Quran. 89, 21 says, No, when the earth has been leveled, pounded, and crushed, yeah. And 22 says, and your Lord has come in the angels rank upon rank. So who's coming when the last day when the earth is crushed? Your Lord. And the angels, right? Yes. And if you read 23, this is the day of judgment. Because what does it say in 23? And brought within view the day is hell. That day man will remember it, but what good to him will be the remembrance. Okay, so don't tell me. Don't have that around this. It says, your Lord is coming with the angels at that day. That's the day of judgment. Okay, now mm -hmm. go to Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 210. Do they, do they await but the Allah should come to them in covers of clouds and the angels as well? And the matter is then decided. And to Allah, all matters are returned. So it's talking about the Jews. So you're waiting for Allah to come on the shadows of the clouds with the angels to decide the matter, meaning the day of judgment. So who comes on the shadows of the clouds with angels? Allah. You sure, right? That's what it says in okay. Al-Qaeda. Matthew 16, 27. Guys, I want you to hear. The Quran says, Allah's coming with the angels and he comes with the shadows of the clouds on the day of judgment. Okay, Matthew 16, 27. Let's see what Jesus says. You said you want from, not John, let me give you Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Okay, for the Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will reward each according to his works. Jesus says, I, the Son of Man, coming in the glory of my Father with the angels to repay people. According to the Quran, is the prophet coming with the angels to judge? And the Quran, Surah Baqarah, says Allah. And then chapter 89 says, your Lord, right? Yes. But says, Jesus said, Lord. Jesus said, I, the Son of Man, am coming in the glory of my Father with the angels to repay people according to what they've done. Oh, my goodness. Matthew 25. But it's not a contradiction. Where's the contradiction? So you believe Jesus is your God, Allah? No, I said it's not a contradiction because... How can Matthew it not says, be a contradiction if Jesus is just a prophet? Well, How does he come with angels is, to judge the world when listen, your Quran says Allah is coming? Listen, this is one of my questions. Because in the Bible, Jesus... Jesus always re refers to himself as son of man. So but you're, you're, you're not man? listening, sister. Let's try it again. Jesus is son of man because he's man. What do you think? We think he's a ghost like Casper. But let me repeat, you're not listening. The son of man is coming in the glory of his father. So the son of man is the son of God. The glory of his father with the angels to judge. Is the Quran 
in agreement, Jesus is going to come with the angels to judge the world. That's what it says in the Quran, yes. So Jesus is coming to judge the world. So you just proved Jesus is Allah, your Lord. Thank you. I didn't say Jesus. I so said the Quran, the who's Lord. coming with the angels to judge the world? The Lord, yes. And he's coming with the angels to do what? To judge the world. And he's coming on the clouds, right? Yes. But Jesus said, I am the son of man, because he's man. Nobody thinks he's cast for the friendly ghost, who will come in the glory of my father with the angels to judge everyone. Do you believe that what Jesus said agrees with your Quran? Agrees with the Quran. The Quran, um, oh my goodness, my goodness. You're so demonized. You can't, you see it, but you don't want to say it, because now this proves Muhammad is the son of the devil. The Quran is clear. Allah, your Lord, comes to judge with the angels, not a creature, not an Jibreel, not Muhammad, not a prophet. But in yes. Matthew, Jesus says, I am the Son of Man. I will come in the glory of my Father with my angels, and I will judge the world and repay them. According to the Quran, Jesus is claiming what only Allah does. But let me give you a couple more from Matthew. Are you ready? Okay, sure. Matthew 24, 29 and 31. Okay, we're gonna, when you get there, I'm going to read it for you. Matthew 24, verses 1 and 31. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Now watch 30. The sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. Then all the tribes of the earth. This is the place where this video get more interesting. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do it to subscribe. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Who? The Son of Man will come on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. They will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the earth to the other. So Jesus says, I, the Son of Man, will come on the clouds of heaven. I will send my angels to gather my elect at that day. Yet your Quran says it's your Lord, your Allah, who comes on the shadows of the clouds with the angels on that day. Wow. And in case you didn't get it, you still want to be blind? Matthew 25, verses 31 to 33. Matthew 25. Verses 31 to 33. Let's see what Jesus again says. Ah, when the Son of Man comes in his glory, the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. Oh, Muhammad Rajim. And he will sit on the throne of his glory. So the Son of Man will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him. And he will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides a sheep from the goats. Now notice verse 33. Let me read it for you. Mm -hmm. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Now, ha, who's the son of man who sends his angels, who sits on a throne of glory, and all the nations will stand before him as he judges them? Read Matthew 25, 34. Verse 34, pay attention. Matthew 25, verse 34. We're going to read it now. Pay attention what Jesus says. Those on the right, then the king will say to those on his right, Come you, blessed of my father. Oh, the son of man says, God is my father. So he's the son of God. Come you, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So here Jesus says, God is his father. He's the son of God. He's the son of man, because he's human too, who sits on the throne of glory with his angels attending him. All the nations stand before him and he judges all the nations, meaning he's going to judge your nation. He's going to judge you, your mother, your father, and he's going to judge Muhammad and condemn Muhammad to hell. So do you believe this, that Jesus is your Lord, your king, son of God, who will judge you and Muhammad and your mother and your father and all nations who comes on the clouds with the angels? This is Matthew. This is not John. So don't play games with me. Do you believe this? Mm -hmm. That's what's in Matthew. Yeah. Okay. So. Jesus in Matthew says, God is my father. I'm the son of man. I ride the clouds of heaven. The angels, I own them. I send them to gather the nations before me. As I sit on a throne, repay them and judge them. And the righteous, I will give them heaven, Jannah. And the wicked like Muhammad, I will send them to hell. And that's Matthew. Do you believe that about Jesus? I don't believe that about Jesus, but I'm oh. understanding what you're saying. So when you come to believe and receive, then God will save you from Muhammad and his filthy deen. Because if you keep going this way, you're going to end up in hell where your prophet is because your prophet was not a friend of Jesus. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all prove Muhammad was a son of Satan and Antichrist. Now, since I answered your questions, 
I got one question for you. Are you ready? But you didn't answer the question about where does the Bible talk about Trinity? Wait, wait, clearly wait, 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 wait. Saying, I'm going to say you're a liar like your your prophet. You're a filthy liar. Didn't you just say Matthew 28, 19? Let me repeat because this is recorded. Everyone's hearing you. Did you remember Matthew 28, 28, 19? Or like Muhammad, you forgot and you abrogated yourself. Matthew 28, 19, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, Holy Spirit. And you said, yes, that's the Trinity. Did you get amnesia like your prophet and you abrogated yourself? I don't have amnesia and I'm not abrogating. I'm saying word for word. What does it say about the Trinity? You just read that the Father, Son, Holy Spirit have one name and you admit that's the Trinity. You forgot? This is recorded. I'm now it's on my YouTube channel. So embarrass yourself and say, oh, I forgot. Go ahead, embarrass yourself. I'm not saying I forgot. I'm saying I haven't heard where it says directly you, in the Bible. You just said that is the Trinity. Did you remember that 10 minutes ago? Oh, yeah. It came from your own mouth. Yeah, that's the Trinity. I don't. I never said that. Before. Yes, you no, did. It's recorded. I didn't say verbatim. I didn't say Oh, verbatim. you want the word Trinity? The word exact word? Yes, or okay. something similar since... Okay, wait, 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 wait. let's English play your word. game. How about just Let me similar. play your game. Let me play your game. Show me How the word Show me the word Tawheed in the Quran. Give me the word Tawheed. Yeah, I, I said I said something similar. And I, I gave you I something similar and you admit it. One name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But now I'm going to bury you. Show me Tawheed in the Quran, the word Tawheed. Show it to me, Tawheed. Nope. No, I want the word Tawheed. Give it to me in the Quran. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of verses that... Give me the... No, God. Tawheed. Tawheed. Give me that word. Oh, in the what does Tawheed mean? Tawheed means I don't care what it means. Give me the word Tawheed. Don't play games. I want the word Tawheed. Tawheed. Okay. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Ahad is not Tawheed. And grammatically, it's incorrect. But give me the word Tawheed. See, I'm going to play your game. Tawheed. I'm, I just said Tawheed. Ahad is, is not Tawheed. Give me Tawheed. The word Tawheed. One more time. In the Quran. Yeah. No, in my mother's diary. In her will. <laughs> exactly. See, show me okay. the word Tawheed in the Quran. <laughs> I I just said, I said it. I okay. just said. Show me where the Quran says. Okay, now let me add, add to it. Show me where it says Allah is only one shakhs or one person. That he's only one person, one shakhs. Isn't that the same surah that I just read? No, because Allah, Allah does. Allah oh my goodness. Allah, Allah. No, saying Allah yeah. is one doesn't tell Allah. me what it means. Yeah. To say God is one, one what? Show me the Quran says Allah is one shakhs. One person. It doesn't say one shakhs because God doesn't ever identify himself as You want to bet? In the hadith, he's called a shakhs and a shay. I am not, I don't like hadith. Don't do that again. Hadith. I'm going to embarrass you, sister. Hadith. Sister, if hadith. you reject hadith, hadith we're going to have fun. manipulated by men. I'm not, hadith. You mean the same hadith that you know, you need to know the Quran. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. You don't play games, sister. You don't choose the hadith you like. Game. Okay. Now, since you want to play that game, because you want to prove, I'm not going to prove the Trinity in your Quran. Go to Surat Al Maryam, chapter 19 of the Quran. Okay, Surat Maryam, chapter 19 of the Quran. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to read slowly, 16 to 21, slowly, but read 16 to 19 first. Okay. Okay, so. But slowly. And mention, and mention, O Muhammad, in the book, the story of Mary when she withdrew from her fam family to a place toward the east. And she took in seclusion from them a screen. Then we sent her. Then we sent to her our angel. No, it doesn't say angel. That, it doesn't say angel. Correct it. That's a mistranslation. What's the Arabic word? It's ruh, ruhana. Ruhana. Yes, yeah. right. So if we sent her our ruhana. spirit, right? Mm, Sahih International says that. I angel. could care I, if it's Daif International. Hassan, it doesn't matter. The Arabic is ruh. It doesn't say angel. Okay. Yeah, in Arabic it says Ruhana. Yeah. Okay, so we center our spirit. That's why other translations like Pithal and Arberi, it says Ruh. So we center our Ruh, our spirit. Now keep going. And he represented himself to her as a well-proportioned man. Keep going. She said, indeed, I seek refuge in the most merciful, merciful from you. So leave me if you should be fearing of Allah. Don't he stop. said, I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure Lord. stuck for Allah, who stuck for Allah, the Sai International. How dare it butcher the word of, of your God? It doesn't say, I'm only a messenger of the Lord to give you news. That's not in the Arabic. It's li, ha, li ahabba. I've come to give you a faultless son. Correct the English. It says, Qala innama ana rasulu rabbika li ahabba laki. Ah, li ahabba yeah. laki. It means I came to give you a faultless son. It doesn't say news. So correct it. What did the spirit actually say? I'm only a messenger of your Lord sent to give you a faultless son. 
right? Sent to give you a faultless son. Yeah, li ahaba isn't I give you news. I give you. The word news is not in the Arabic, right? right? It's not, no, the word news is not directly there. But okay, so translate it word for word. That's why other translations say, I am only a messenger of your Lord sent to give you a faultless son. Right. Okay, so who's going to give her a son? Uh, the angel by the will of you God. You said angel again? I'm going to give you $10 million. Show me the word angel. Oh, oh, the Imam the Rajim. Where'd you get angel? It said spirit. So who gave her a who gave her a faultless son? According to the Quran. Right there. What you're reading, that's the Quran, okay. right? Who gave her a faultless According son? To, well, it says angel. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna hit my head against the wall. The word is not angel in the Arabic. You just read it. Ruhana, it's spirit. Who gave her yeah. the faultless son? It just says we blew our spirit, but no, that's somewhere else. Angel, he, he, oh, the Billah and Muhammad Rajim. Are you reading in front of your eyes? We yes. sent her our spirit who appeared as a man. The spirit said, I'm only a messenger of your Lord to give you. So, who gave her the faultless son? It's in front of you. The angel. <laughs> the word angel is not in the Arabic. My goodness, can you say it? The spirit. No, because I don't have... Okay, is there a different English translation? That yes, Pictal and Arbery. Know. There's many translations, man. But you don't need the... the you read the Arabic. You read the Arabic. In 17, it says Ruh. It's spirit. Yeah, yes, we said Ruh, and that means spirit. And we know in Arabic, Malik is angel. Yes. So so who gave yes. her the faultless son in that chapter? Correct, but you're, like, we're just taking one verse. No, Jared, I'm going to give you other verses. My goodness, you're impatient. Context. I'm going to give you context. Before. My goodness, I'm going to give it to you if you can answer. You haven't even answered this. Who okay. gave her a faultless son? Ruhana. Okay, what well, translate please? Ruhana. <laughs> translate. <laughs> the spirit gave her a faultless son, right? Our angel. See, there you go again. See, you you know you're embarrassing yourself here. You're being recorded. About over 700 people are watching you. This is now going to be on my YouTube channel. Why are you embarrassing yourself? Be honest before God if you fear God. It's rule. No, it's spirit. We're going to talk about Quran. Let's do it in Arabic because that's okay. That's you gave Spanish. me the Arabic ruh. You just said it's not the word angel. So translate ruh in English. Ruhana. What does that mean in English? Spirit. Oh, thank, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, spirit. So who gave her a faultless son? Who gave her a faultless? Oh son? my goodness, man! Are you, you still, kidding me? Like, because. You're just trying to trap me in this question. I'm giving you the ayat. Oh my goodness. It's in front of you, 17 to 19. I am only a messenger of your Lord sent to give you a faultless son. Who's speaking? 17 told you. The ruh, the spirit who appeared as a man. My goodness, you can't get that? The spirit who appeared as a man is an angel. No, there's not a single verse in the Quran that says this spirit is an angel. No, give it to me. Show me where it says the spirit is an angel and show me where it says angels are spirits. I challenge you. It's not in the Quran. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay, so let's come back now. This, who gave her a faultless son? The Ruh. Can you speak English for the people who speak English? Okay, for the people that speak English, Ruh means spirit. So who gave her a faultless son? Ruh, spirit. Thank you. Finally, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally, she said the spirit. So the spirit gave her a faultless son. Now go to Surat Al-Tahrim, chapter 66, verse 12. Now we're going to go to, you said context, right? Now I'm going to give you other verses. Go to Surat Al-Tahrim, chapter 66, verse 12. Surat Tahrim. Yeah, that's chapter 66. If you don't know the name, it's okay. Just chapter 66. Okay. Read for me, verse 12. Surat Al-Tahrim, verse 12 says... Okay. And the example of... Maryam, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, so we blew into her garment through our angel, and she. Okay, see again this damn radio. translation, butchering of the Arabic Quran. Shame on them! It didn't say we blew, we blew through our angel. It says we blew into her of our ruh. Read the Arabic again. Yeah, fihi min ruhana. Okay, ruhina. so what did Allah breathe into her? Ruhana. And what is that again for you? What did he breathe into her? What's Ruhana? Well, in English, Ruhana means spirit. Okay, so what did Allah breathe into Mary? Ruhana. <laughs> this girl. I am Swahili. I don't speak Arabic. Translate. What did Allah breathe into her? English. Oh, okay. If you don't speak 
then I would say Allah brought spirit. Okay, that's see, that's so easy. Everyone heard you. Spirit. Allah brought right. blew right. his spirit into her eye. That's the direct translation. Yes, good. So okay, but can you tell me what the Arabic, right. sister? Can you tell me what the Arabic ahsanat farjaha means? What's a farj? Ahsanat farj. Yes, yeah, right there. Ahsanat farjaha. That's the Arabic. What's a farj? Yeah, what's a farj? I don't know. You sure you don't know, or are you just too embarrassed? Yeah. No, I don't know. It means the woman's vagina vulva, the private part. Okay, yeah, that's why I don't know. I don't know words like that. Okay, well, that's good. You're. I pray God bless you. You stay a pure virgin and meet a godly Christian man to marry you and show you the love of Jesus in Jesus' name. Beautiful. I'm glad you're not spoiled and rotten like 90% of the world population. Anyway, it says, Mary guarded her vagina vulva, and we breathe into her vagina vulva, our spirit. Now, let me ask you a question. Why did Allah breathe the spirit into her private part? To do what? To make her pregnant. Wow! Everyone heard you. Thank you. So guys, hear what she just said. God sent his spirit to get Mary pregnant. So you just admit the spirit is creator and life giver. Good job. You just admit. Yeah, by this verse, by this verse, which says specifically says, Oh, Hannah. Yeah. And so the that spirit that came to Mary... Means. So the spirit that came to Mary appeared as a man, spoke to her, she spoke to him, and he says, I'm here to get you pregnant. And then he entered her body and got her pregnant. So here you just admit the spirit of God is a person who can appear as a man who creates and gives life. Now do the math. How many is that? Allah and the spirit. Okay. How many is that? Yeah. Okay, but I said that's what the direct translation means. I didn't say that was So you want to go indirect? Translation. What? Okay, how do you go indirect out of, around this? What's the indirect? I didn't say it was the correct translation. <laughs> okay, let's go to indirect translation. Translate the way you want. Let's see. Okay, go ahead. Translate it. Let's see how you're going to translate it. The, the correct translation is that this is an angel. So the angel created Jesus. So you made an angel a creator and a partner with Allah. So you now are a mushrik. You just committed shirk. Good job. By the permission of God. Just like so Moses Allah said, permitted an angel. See, you're still not listening. Allah permitted an angel to create and give life. That means Allah made the angel his partner in creating and giving life. So now you just said Allah is the one who committed shirk. Good job. So Allah is a mushrik. Good job. Yay. Keep it up. Keep bearing your God. Keep it up. I said by the permission of God. So Allah gave permission to an angel to create and give life, which means Allah permitted an angel to be his partner in creating. So Allah committed shirk. What don't you get? Not to know. He didn't give permission to create and give life. Who created Jesus in the womb? You just said the spirit was the angel. Are you not back backpedaling? Backpedaling? I'm not backpedaling. So who created story. Jesus in the womb? The angel. The oh, so angel, the angel created. The angel couldn't do it by himself. So so Allah gave him the ability to create. Allah gave him the ability. So Allah made an angel, his partner in creating and allowed him to share in his power to create. So you end up with Allah being a mushrik. So you can't get out of this. You just condemned Allah for committing shirk and you still don't get it. All right. So welcome back. Hope you've learned from this amazing video. Please do it to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit up the notification button so that each time we drop our new videos, you'll be notified. As you can see in this video, this young lady was challenging some shimon on the trinity and was claiming to say that where is it written in the script in the bible that is trinity and some showed him in the book of matthew chapter 20 23 verse 28 where it was said there that jesus said i will send you disciples that will be baptized men in the name of god the father god the son and god the holy spirit at that particular state jesus was speaking about the trinity and some was asking her in that scripture was he said it was the spirit of god and she was claiming she was claiming right that this is not what she's trying to ask on but some asked her this question it's not written in the greek word that the that the god the father god the son and god the holy spirit had all the spirit of god to be sincere to herself she she, had, she accepted the fact that okay this is the spirit of god something gave us so many proof that was still written in the quran about god being being the spirit and some show that, that in the last day from the quran that the spirit of god that is the allah will be the one that will judge everyone and some came up and showed her the same proof in the bible that jesus will be that spirit that we judge everyone in the last day and this thing is, means that these guys are serving jesus they are calling jesus allah which is written in the bible
and these guys are not even ready to even believe this fact that jesus is is god at this state end in this part of the debate this guy began to find out that in the last day sam gave us so many proof that in the last day in the book of matthew luke and john where it was speaking about the coming of jesus christ even in the book of revelation where it was said that jesus will come with mighty and with plenty of angels and jesus will be the one seated on the throne and we judge everyone and every nation in the last day after she came to find out all this truth she did not even accept the, the fact that the spirit is that the trinity are spirit and she thinks as she was still asking the same question in the, in the end of this debate and some have to end up this debate because she was not accepting the truth because she mentioned the truth the first time she refused to mention same thing again thanks for watching this amazing video let's do a place to like this video subscribe to our youtube channel hit up the notification button so that each time we drop our new videos you'll be notified and please do it to watch more of our videos to learn more about the trinity head thanks for watching this amazing video